What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. Today guys, we are reacting to Sunmi's Stranger. I think that the last time that Sunmi had her official comeback, not like an OST, no nothing, but last official comeback that Sunmi had was, it was either June or July of last year. I'm pretty sure it was July though. October 17th, Sunmi is back with Stranger and the single album itself. I did already listen to the two tracks on the album, Calm Down and Call My Name. Yeah, Call My Name. Calm Down was just this nice like sort of like intro type song. It wasn't too long at all. It fits into Sunmi's discography very well and just her like creepy like darker vibe. And Call My Name also felt like that a lot, like the whole like dark Sunmi vibe that we've always loved. It really reminded me of a B-side from her Warning album. I think Curve is one that really like comes to mind when I think of it. Hope that you guys are doing great. Feel free to like this video and subscribe so you do not miss out to any other Sunmi comebacks or K-pop girl groups soloist reactions in general. With a title track like Stranger Guys and from what I saw from just the teaser photos, this is gonna be just another dark comeback from her which I love and I think she suits so perfectly well. So let's see what 2023 Sunmi dark concept is gonna be like. Three, two, one. Mr. Stranger running in a danger, gotta get to know ya. Mr. Stranger wanna be your angel, gotta get to know ya. Okay, 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 I get it now. This song was also sounding like a like Halloween type movie, like an old school Halloween Mr. movie. Stranger running in a danger, gotta get to know ya. Wait, what is this song? I can't tell if that was part of the song or if that was just like, I don't know. I feel like that was the chorus. Yeah, this part, this really gives me like old school Halloween vibes. There's a specific movie that's in mind that I can't think of. Mr. Stranger running in a danger, gotta get to know ya. This is so strange, literally. This is probably her most like weirdly composed song. Usually her songs, not that they're like predictable, but you can kind of get the gist of them and it stays the same throughout the rest of the song. This, not at all. Like it did have the same elements, but the song itself, I feel like it's so, like I have to listen to it on its own to really understand like start to end, like how that felt. I 
I just love it when everyone makes especially creepy shit near Halloween and in October. <laughs> Digipedi produced this? I just saw it at the very top. Oh my god. Uh, well, it makes sense why I love this MV so, so much. If you guys didn't know, Digipedi used to be Luna's like main filmographer. And for so many other groups, of course. So, I think I pretty much gave my thoughts on the song in the reaction, but I did just want to say, like, that actually sounded pretty good, though. You know, like, it was a little messy, but I think it sounded pretty good. I think if this was, like, any other soloist or a group, I would have just gave up early on and been like, what's going on? But because I know that Sunmi is very, very intentional, and when she has her comebacks and when she has her title tracks, it takes her a long time because I know that everything is super, super intentional. And I really like this, actually. I have to listen to it on its own, like I said, like from start to end. That Mr. Stranger part and then pause and then Mr. Stranger pause over and over. I don't, I'm pretty sure that's in the song and it's like that, but I wonder how excessive it actually is. I feel like part of it was exaggerated for this music video just to make it more music video -y. not really focus on the song, but focus on the actual video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm so happy that Sunmi finally made a comeback. She needs to stop having them so like spaced out though. I say this all the time, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel like musicians need to release more music. Um, I get that they need time in between promotions to, you know, relax, do this, do that. But I feel like they're big, big, big. The biggest artists, right? Their discography will like go on with them for years and years and years and decades, right? I think in K-pop, because it's so competitive, it's so like fast that everything is pretty much like something comes out, the next thing's out, da, 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 da. you know, it's very, very fast. So I want people to like build a legacy and build a story and keep improving. And I think Sunmi is a soloist that she can evolve this into so much more and keep making it like, I don't know. She has such a, all of her songs and all of her MVs are so connected to one another. And I just really want more from her not just to have more music but i think she's a space in k-pop that not a lot of people can enter or do correctly or you know the vibe won't fit well but she definitely she's like the embodiment of sexy dark um like soloist i didn't expect to have that little spiel at the end but yeah <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Bye -bye.